Welcome to Desk Geek. I am so excited about what I am about to upgrade. So I love the GTX 1070, one of the best cars for Linux and Windows I have ever used, period. Everything I've thrown at this thing, it just eats it up, asks for more, doesn't hesitate, doesn't stutter, doesn't care. Video rendering, video games on nightmare settings, it just... It literally has no hesitation. It doesn't heat up. There's not all this heat pouring off of it. it. You don't hear the fans speed up. It just, it has no problems at all. It's an amazing piece of technology. One of my favorite things I bought in 2016. And of course, they've had the 1080 out there as well, which was released alongside the 1070. And well, I had to get one. There was a deal on the 1080 that I could not refuse. And let me just show you this gorgeous piece of machinery. In a lot of respects, it looks very similar to the 1070. You can see a very beautiful card. It's extremely heavy. And I got this used for just under $500, which is an amazing deal. I believe in these cards first came out they were closer to the $700 range when the 1070 or the 1080 first came out seven eight hundred dollars so right here we're just going to remove this cable supplies our power and that allows you to release the video card without yanking up that's a big mistake you can see this right here that a lot of people make that little tab right there and I'm pointing at if you don't push that down sometimes you'll break it and I see a lot of motherboards on eBay with that piece broken because people just yank up and they don't push that down first so here's our 1070 again very very close aesthetically to the 1080 performance you're gonna get and I'll show you the specs between the two up on the screen so get the 1070 packaged and ready for eBay to go to its new home and we will put our new 1080 in place and so here what you want to do is make sure you have no cords or anything in the way and that you're just slowly lowering it down and actually I had a thumb screw drop that I can now easily pick up without scratching the motherboard there lower it down guide it in make sure that the brackets over here are not going to sit on top of the motherboard but literally slide between the motherboard and the case and then make sure everything looks like it's going to pop down below just right and with a little pressure here boom we are in and that's it the GTX 1080 doesn't look much different and I don't know how much performance gain we're going to get but one of the tips that I give you guys is to make sure that you are selling your equipment at the peak of what it's worth so that you can continue to upgrade. And the 1080's dropped in price and so has the 1070 a little bit, but it's at the peak now because newer cards are coming out, so it's an easy exchange. So this entire upgrade will probably cost me around $70 to $100 versus trying once I sell the 1070 because I'll make all that money back, probably about 400 of uh, the $500 or 375 of the 500 So that helps eat up that expense to upgrading if you continue to do that versus holding on to a video card or any component until it's completely lost its life value. You're going to get a lot, of, you could get a lot of years out of it, but eventually when you go to resell, it will be absolutely worthless and you'll be giving it away at Goodwill, writing it off on your taxes. So now we're going to supply power back to the video card, and voila. So we've got our video card in place. You can add that last thumb screw in here if you want to help keep it nice and secure. One of the things I recommend you do when you're replacing any components or you're taking off your case is just to check your connections on all of your major components. See that one became loose because <clears throat> when you're jostling around and taking stuff out and moving it it's very easy for something just to kind of come unplugged here so it's just a good idea to go over your connections this is also a good opportunity to clean out your system 
and make sure all the dust and filters that you have on your case are taken out and blown out and uh, that way you don't have a whole collection of dust that ends up happening on your machine and that's it that's how easy it is to replace a video card so we're gonna boot this up and see how this baby works wow we got 60 frames per second $500 worth everything <laughs> just gotta go change the uh, settings there I think V-Sync locks your frame rate so let's turn it off here. why would you need that ever Oh, there we go. Look, now, now we're cooking with fire. <laughs> 200 frames per second. Are you kidding me? Dude, that is crazy. What? This is totally VR ready. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Get out of here because I got to check my settings. All right, so let's see what we're at here. Okay, video. Actually, I need to go to advanced. For Vulcan driver, all right, ultra, 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 let's go to nightmare, high, ultra, nightmare, ultra, 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 there we go, you gotta do this in nightmare settings, yeah. So that, there's still AI around, so you're at 140 still is amazing. Goodbye. All right. Um, it, it tries to reach all the way up to 200, but I'd say the average is about 130. Amazing. Are we, are we amazed? What is that? What is that? That's with AI in the background. That is crazy. 200 frames per second. Have you ever even heard of such a thing? It honestly just blows my mind. On, all, on nightmare settings. I mean, we could lower this down a little bit into medium or just high settings instead of ultra I bet each frame is at least mm -hmm. eight passes for the video card before it completes rendering that frame you're talking 200 of those per second I mean you're talking bump mapping uh, specularity maps shadowing uh, sub shadowing. It's Absolutely doing all amazing. those passes on the entire scene, two hundred up to two hundred times per second. Why is this the only gun I have? What happened here? What happened? Where'd I fall? Where am I? Help! I don't know where I'm at. I fell into some secret compartment. I hear you. That's the dude with herpes. <laughs> an outbreak around here. <laughs> Maintaining 150, 170 frames at times with the AI. Alright, 
All right, so let's let's get as many enemies as we can. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go gut this thing over here so that all the enemies come pouring out. I wonder if they're finally utilizing the A cores, like one several cores just for the AI alone. Cause I don't understand how they're able to do this. <laughs> I need that dude to death. That's got to suck. Oh, how embarrassing. Your guts are inside you the whole time. <laughs> All right, here we go. Now everything's gonna hit the screen. What are we? What are we clocking in here? 130, 120, 130, 120. It's what it's. It's pretty close. Like it doesn't really care about the high settings versus nightmare. It's running. It ran pretty close to that nightmare, didn't it? Yeah. It's interesting. I would have expected the frame rate to go higher. But I don't think we tested, I don't think you tested a board out with the, uh, you know, all of them coming at you at one time in nightmare settings like this. Uh, you want some? Uh, you want some? Look at the mad skills, son. Oh. So sad. Oh, this is their house, and I just come in and start shooting people. Well, because somebody said hurtful things. <laughs> there were hurtful things said, and many died that day. You have some of this. Oh, oh that blubber. <laughs> Curb stomp. Them frames, though. Is anybody seeing this? What the hell? I mean, honestly, I am just blown away at the frame rate. It's, I expected, honestly, 10 frames per second difference between this and the 1070. But we're more at like 30 frame per second difference. I've never seen anything like this, actually. I've seen this. And can you even hear the video card? I mean, it doesn't... No. It's not spinning up. There's no sound to it. It didn't all of a sudden start getting hot when things were, were uh, getting all over the screen. It just... Like, whatever. Nom, 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 nom. Can I have some more, sir? I find it fascinating that they've completely moved to Vulcan here. Those frames, man, that's just wild. So now there's only one thing to do, and that's to test it in Linux. Go up to a wall where you can't see anything except going all the way up to a wall and see the frames. Okay, I just goes up to I was wondering what it would render. All right. Let's end.
not like the video.